record my live but thank you for joining my live uh type in the comments where you are where you're from and i'm gonna get started so today my goal is to list all my items that so once a week um i send a shipment to amazon and in that shipment um so before i know which product i'm sending i obviously assess if it's going to be profitable if it's not profitable then i'm not going to do it so amazon is we all know one of the biggest um it actually broke a trillion record on its net worth and um i think stocks for one amazon share is like three thousand dollars um so i happen to be an amazon seller as well i've been doing this for three years and it came up in a facebook group and i commented that i do this and uh, this is a, a passive income for me and then i started to get a lot of questions a lot of questions same question over and over again and then i was like okay i'm gonna post a video so this is where we are so i was like okay when i do what i'm normally do on a saturday i'm gonna do the same thing just that i'm gonna be recording at the same time so i've logged into my seller account and i'm gonna go into my inventory tab and i am an amazon seller that fulfills through amazon so what that means is i pack my products i don't own any products i don't even have a warehouse and i don't have storage so Amazon facilitates all that by providing that platform for me. So I send in the products and Amazon takes care of the rest, which is a very, very, very simple business model to follow once you start to understand it. So the most important thing is to know um, what product is moving. Um, no trends, know what's going on in the marketplace. So for example, right now it's back to school in Canada so that's definitely a big seller right now and then up and coming is going to be Halloween after that is going to be Thanksgiving after that is going to be Christmas so you want to always be ahead of the trends in terms of what you're sending in so that the inventory is in stock and your listing is up um, to manage all that so let me um, so if I'm quiet and if you have any questions go ahead but I'm going to begin by listing my product um manage my fba inventory so first thing i want to check what performed well this week um what did i make money off of what performed well what is out of stock and what do i need to add so i already had some of my items um i'm recording with i'm live with my phone and my phone has my amazon seller app which I use to scan barcodes when I'm in the store to check if it's profitable or not. So now what I'm gonna do is I already uploaded some of the stuff. So the first one is, this is my packaging. Take that out. Which one is the first one? The pack of 64. So this is gonna be an Amazon shipment of and I apologize that it's in reverse, but this is going to be an Amazon shipment of all Crayola. Crayola, it's going to be a, a throw up of Amazon, of, sorry, of Crayola stuff, because I'm going in with the Amazon um, back to school theme. theme. And I already had stuff listed, but it sold out. So now I got to send more, take advantage of the demand right now. And it's very profitable. So I purchased this in store. I'm going to say a dollar or under a dollar and every amount I'm talking about is in Canadian dollars um, and I'm going to list it for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents and it is going to sell that's the magic power of the internet so I'm gonna make I don't know you do the math over a hundred percent in profit that's probably 12 times in profit of my original cost minus shipping but I'm sending one big box minus um, Amazon fees and the rest is all my profit so obviously Amazon isn't just gonna list stuff for you so estimated fee per unit um, okay so I'm listing that this item for $12.99 and the fee that Amazon is gonna charge me is um, 
how much is Amazon going to charge me? It's going to charge me $9.52. So I just noticed this now. And I obviously have to raise my price. So you have free reign on how much um, a product is. So I'll put out my calculator. I'm going to pull up my calculator over here. I feel like I want to calculate using um, a product that has an easy number to work with so that you can understand me. And I can't find my calculator. How is that even possible? Anyway, good morning. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to come back to that one because that's, that's a crazy fee. Um, and I'm going to calculate that in a minute. So let me move over to, um, my 24 pack. 24 pack is this one. So this product is $24, oh no, there's 24 um, products. I have 10 boxes of these that I'm gonna send to Amazon and I got it for 67 cents. And I'm going to list it, so I'm gonna go over how much I'm gonna list it for. And then I'm gonna list it for $5.99. So, manage images, what do I want to do? I want to see how much the others are selling it for. So you always want to see what the other store is selling for. Um, the other sellers. So you want to see what the other sellers are selling it for. And you can either match, lower, or charge more. So that's what I'm going to do now. Do, 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 do. And once I send this in. So right now because it's in my hands, Amazon is gonna list it as out of stock. Um, so because it's out of stock, you wanna send it in as soon as possible. So I'm gonna pack all my orders. Um, I'm gonna pack, I pack all my orders on Saturday and I send it in on Sunday and then it probably arrives and then they quality check it. Um, this is something else I'm also gonna send in. I have, so every box that I'm showing you, I have 10 boxes of each one. This one, I'll probably return it to the store because the margins here don't make sense. And I'm not gonna send a product that's gonna sit a long time at Amazon. So once I list my product and I follow all the Amazon guidelines, I have to send in, I have to attach a uh, barcode um, to each of the products which identifies it in Amazon as mine so that when it sells and it fulfills obviously the funds go into my account and there's hundreds and hundreds of other sellers selling the same thing not hundreds but maybe 22 other people but think about how so I'm listed on Amazon Mexico Amazon Canada Amazon US um, and Amazon US is the best in terms of performance because of the population of the United States and it's obviously in US dollars. So I list my products depending on all that. And that's a whole other conversation on how to select where to ship and sell and blah, blah, blah. So what else do I have in here? So like I said, it's basically a, um, so that's also going to ship and this one as well so these are all gonna ship today I'm gonna go ahead and package them and label them and have them prepped and ready for my box um, 